Hello, everyone. It's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. Um, by now, every one of you guys have probably seen this video from Aptera about solar and production. And in this video, they talk about how it's clear that they've been working on their solar panels for a long time, going through lots of different iterations, trying out lots of materials and making this solar panel. And they've spent quite a bit of money and resources and manpower and engineering time in making these solar panels. Um, and they seem to be quite good. However, I wondered like, you know, Sono Motors and Lightyear have been doing the exact same thing. And they have been, they're a little bit farther along than Aptera. Why didn't they just license the technology from them? Are they just reinventing the wheel? Um, now, Aptera says that, you know, they are doing this two axis curve. And maybe there's something to that. But a lot of the things that uh, Lightyear and Sono talk about are also the things that Aptera talks about. Um, this is Lightyear's video. Uh, coincidentally, it's from three years ago, April 22, 2019. And in this video, they're talking about all the prototypes they went through, all the encapsulation techniques they went through. They talk about how there's going to be shading and light um, because the, soul, the car's moving, how there's vibration problems, and how there's much greater stresses on the automotive solar panels than on stationary solar panels put on top of buildings. So they're all dealing with the same issues. The, the engineering issues are very similar. And um, Lightyear was working on their panels over three years ago. And they're using the Maxion cells um, just like um, Aptera is. And um, they are, you know, at least a year or two ahead of Aptera in terms of their development. Um, now, they are going to be in, in production right uh, by the end of this year, supposedly. And um, theirs is a full automobile. So, of course, they have a lot higher regulatory hurdles to pass. And their production is probably going to be a lot more complicated. And, you know, wisely, they've gone with Valmet Automotive as a contract manufacturer for them, which I think was a good move for their part. And Sono Motors has also gone with Valmet Automotive. And you see them here, they're doing the uh, ball drop test, just like we saw uh, in the Aptera video. And they talk about all these simulations that they're doing and how even if a small piece of their panel breaks, the rest of their panel will still function. These are all things like Aptera is going to do too, I think. Um, so they are sort of reinventing the wheel. Maybe they came with three very different um, strategies for it. But I think Lightyear's strategy is very similar to Aptera's strategy, which is uh, the normal encapsulation technique. Lightyear hasn't gone into their technology of what their panel technique exactly is. Um, what we do know is that um, Sono actually uses injection molding for theirs. And if you look at their, this is the sample of their panel, it is bent in two axes, if you look at it. And uh, they said this is the curve that they could do. And this is sufficient curve for Aptera, I think. It looks like a sufficient curve. And I don't know if encapsulation is easier to produce or if this injection molding is easier to produce. I kind of think the injection molding might be easier to produce. I'm not a manufacturing person, so maybe you guys know what's easier, encapsulation with layers or in injection molding. But I wonder if, if they went to approach them to see if they could license the technology or if... Um, they just decided that they wanted to create their own tech and uh, sell it. Because these are the first three solar electric vehicles. Perhaps they'll come up with three very different technologies. And we know how durable they are in testing, but none of them have undergone real world testing. And I think maybe in five or six years, we'll find out wh which whose panels are better. Is it light years? Is it Aptera's? Is it Sonos? And we'll find out what it is. And if one of them has the better technology, I think that will be something that they can license out to other um, companies. Maybe Aptera thought, well, you know what? We don't know if light years technology is any good in the real world. And, you know, why don't we just develop our own? 
and um, you know maybe we can be the ones licensing to future solar electric vehicle companies and other manufacturers this, that decide to do this. Now we know why they didn't. Use, one of the first things I thought when I heard about this is why don't they just use the solar panels that they were using in these um, solar car races, like the World Solar Race in Australia that they run every year or two. Um, but then they made it very clear why they didn't do that. It's because those are one-off prototypes. They're not made for durability. They just need they just need it to last for like one race, which is about I think a week long, and um, they're not built for manufacturability, and they're not built for longevity and durability. So th those are designs that they can't reuse. But Sono, Aptera, and Lightyear are designing it for durability and for manufacturability. Um, so I don't know, we'll, I guess time will tell whether it was the right decision to kind of reinvent the wheel. All three companies have decided to go their own way. Now Lightyear, I think was the first one doing it. So they didn't really have a choice to license it from another company. Um, but Sono um, could have licensed it from Lightyear and Aptera could have licensed it from Sono or Lightyear. Cause I think Aptera is kind of uh, a little bit farther behind in their uh, solar development. So they had the option, but instead they decided it was worth spending the time and the resources and the engineering to create their own method of doing things. Um, so tell me what you guys think. Do you think that was a wise choice? Do you think that they should have tried to license it from the other companies? Because if you look at this, you know, this curve is not that extreme. That curve could easily be been done uh, by this. This amount of curvature um, spread out over a roof like this would easily, I think it would easily conform to it. And I don't think that would be a problem. All right. Well, um, yeah, tell me what you guys think uh, about the solar panels. If you guys know anything about solar panels and about injection molding versus encapsulation, tell me what you guys think is the superior technology. I, I believe Lightyear, they haven't released it, but theirs is an encapsulation technology. Um, I saw in there, like in the little board that they were running about EVA, which is one of the encapsulation materials. Is it going to be a good idea for them to uh, develop their own? Was it a wise use of resources for all three of them to reinvent the wheel? All right. Well, thanks for watching. Tell me what you guys think. And uh, thanks as always to our supporting members and have a great day, everyone.